West Ham v Fiorentina played out with West Ham lifting the cup. A couple of refereeing decisions that may or may not have left some people a little bit dubious. The first one was Fiorentina's first goal ruled out for offside. From the initial cross, the player header in the ball is onside. The player that scores is onside. But once that player headers it to the player that scores, the player that scores is offside. Now, from the naked eye, he doesn't look offside. And I was very, very unsure as to whether or not it was going to be allowed or disallowed. When we see the graphic, he is marginally offside. A lot of people have said that calls like this should be benefit attacker. It's literally less than half a body. It is insanely close. It is a VAR thing. We have to trust VAR and we have to accept that this is VAR at its best. The next call we had was the West Ham penalty. Their first goal resulting from it. Bowen is adamant it's a handball. The referee doesn't give it purely because his position doesn't allow him to fully see it and he has to back the defensive team. He knows that he has VAR to look at it and when you see the hand going towards the ball at that height in an unnatural position and making the body bigger, it has to be a penalty. There is no other way you can give this. However, had the referee not have given it, he could have claimed the hand was there due to the stride of the player. So, arguments for both sides, but stronger for penalty given. West Ham fans seriously let themselves down, throwing things from the stand and injuring the Fiorentina captain. Just missing the AR as well. These are scenes we don't want to see at any football game. These are scenes we don't want to see in a final where your club is playing for the first time in over 30 or 40 years. The referee missed an opportunity to avoid this. The first time a cup was thrown, a Fiorentina player was lucky enough to catch it. And after he caught it, he pretended to drink from it. Now, the problem is, the referee could have stopped it there and then. Put out the announcement, supporters wise up, stop throwing things. It would have saved this. I mean, this is... Probably the only final or the last final that this guy's going to play. And he's being left looking like this. If the referee had stopped it at the initial point of throwing, this wouldn't have happened. Instead, he waited until after this happened before putting the announcement out. That is my gripe with the referee. I thought he had a solid game. Not fantastic, not poor. It was a solid game. But that was the one area he let himself down. 